One of the more amazing products I think that Alpha Omega carries is something that is called Alpha Omega 3 Herbal Toothpaste. Now I know to most people they think that uh, a dentifrice is a pretty mundane thing, but this is a pretty amazing product and it comes with a story and I want to tell the story in my own words. This is the product here, Alpha Omega 3 Herbal Toothpaste. Now the purpose of most people view a dentifrice as a simple thing to tr clean their teeth, scrub the tartar off of the walls of the teeth, and this does something that is far, far more comprehensive as far as keeping good dental care. Um, and it's a very experiential, you have to try this product to believe what it is that you're experiencing. When you brush with this product, not only does it take the tartar off the teeth, but you can actually feel it working below the gum line. Uh, it was, the product has, like I said, it has a history. My mentor in learning escrotic medicine was a man by the name of Dr. Russell Jordan, who's the founder of not one, but two successful pharmaceutical companies, one of which was called Vipont Pharmaceutical. He was a co-founder. Uh, I had many conversations of, about with him about the, the company, as well as Peter Ladanier, a Hungarian chemist who helped them formulate the product and was on both of the, the lead patents. They actually had several patents that they used to protect their proprietary technology. They sold the company to Colgate Palmolive for $88 million around 1990 or maybe a little before. I can't remember the exact year, but the, uh, the product contained zinc chloride. It contained uh, sangarine, contained an alkaloid of blood root, sanguinaria canadensis, which we use a lot in our work, and is very popular among medicinal herbalists. And it was funny, I, I was actually familiar with this dentifrice, which was called Viadent. You could buy it in drugstores all over America. And uh, it was quite popular when it was sold to Colgate Palmolive. And I used it personally. I, this had nothing to do with business. This was about my own personal use, because I never had found any dentifrice that really so thoroughly, your, your teeth literally felt squeaky clean when you finished using this product. It was pretty amazing. And then after the, the Colgate Palmolive bought the company, they began to reformulate it. And amazingly, the product became less effective. It just wasn't the same product. It didn't work nearly as well. And when I asked Dr. Russell Jordan about it, he says, well, you know, there's a value in making it less effective because they didn't buy the product because Colgate Palmolive wanted to have a superior dentifrice. They bought it because they wanted to take a powerful competitor in terms of efficacy off the market. And that's exactly what they did. Now, there are, if you actually go to PubMed and other medical journals, you'll find these errant medical studies that, um, that say that with the use of uh, this blood root alkaloid, if I, blood root has 60 different alkaloids, sangarine is just one of them, um, that it was developing leukoplakia and other forms of skin lesions inside the mouth. And I'm here to tell you, it's just pure 100% nonsense. Both myself and other friends at that period of time, we're talking back in the mid to late 80s, that used the uh, Viadent product made by Vipont Foom Pharmaceutical. It was an amazing product. Nobody, I have never met anyone that ever used that product that ever experienced skin lesions or leukoplakia or any other form of, um, shall we say, side effect as a result of using the product. So years later, I decided that I was going to use the information that I got from Dr. Russell Jordan to come out with something of our own that worked every bit as well as the original, the original, not not the, the remade version, but the original uh, Biden Pharmaceutical product. I didn't have a motive to make a product that doesn't work like some of these large companies do, these large consumer product companies. Uh, and that leads to another point, just to the degree to which products are promoted that are deliberately designed to not work as well because they're having to deal with the medical and the dental lobbies who have a vested interest in making sure that you remain sick, that you need constant care. I'll tell you something about this product. And not that I recommend this, it's not something that I recommend, but I've had people that tell me, you know, who do not brush their teeth after every meal, and they certainly don't floss after every meal, that pe people that have used, that use this product, that have told me that 
if they use this product even two times a week, they notice that their mouth is much cleaner. Now, I have a friend of mine in Chicago. Uh, oh, I'm just, I'll just refer to him as Doc Mike, Dr. Mike, um, who has had, in his 70s, has had a lifetime of various dental problems whose own dentist told him that, you know, it's amazing. I don't know what you're doing, but you come in to get your mouth clean and it's like it's already been cleaned you literally when you use this product if you use this product with any degree of regularity it's like your mouth is much cleaner you don't feel the need as much to, to go in for dental cleaning because there's not so much to clean it just keeps the mouth really clean no other dentifrice that i know know of do, does this the other thing i want to point out about this is that it is technically the formulation technically is a very mild escrotic so let me describe what that does when you use this product if in the mouth you feel a particular uh, pain, a dull pain in a certain part of the mouth, it will tell you if you have an oral malignancy. So let's say, for instance, that you hear in the early stages of can uh, cancer of any of the mucous membrane inside the mouth or the tongue or even the upper throat, uh, you're going to feel it. So it's kind of an indicator. This is kind of a, a formula that acts as an indicator to let you know if you are if you have the presence of malignant cells. So that's one of it, another of its amazing properties. The other thing I want to point out is that we also recommend its use uh, with, as a mouthwash, something that we call H3O, which is a product that has... Um, numerous, numerous different medicinal applications. It's all on a web page called altcancer.com forward slash h3o.htm. Another point that's worth pointing out is that both the Alpha Omega 3 Herbal Toothpaste and the h throw both of them are highly, highly antimicrobial. Um, people don't realize the degree to which um, bacteria build up in the mouth leads to other problems. One of the things we point out, for instance, in our cancer work is the correlation between people that, let us say, have a root canal, which becomes a, a, a point of that harbors bacteria. In fact, there's a huge, huge correlation between, uh, between root canals and incidence of breast cancer in women, by way of example. Um, this has been pointed out by the work of Dr. Bob Dowling, and I, I talk about this on our websites. Uh, and this is important because you can have a dentifrice that simply is used to kind of s swish around and remove some of the tartar off the teeth, or you can have something that actually reaches below the gum line and starts killing the bacteria that leads to gingivitis and uh, other periodontal diseases. And so this is an important feature. A, a good dental hygiene program is also going to act as a... Um, a form of prevention of dental disease by keeping pathogenic bacteria in control. And that's precisely what both of these products do because they really are that antimicrobial.